So we're going to take a quick tour of installing and configuring WordPress. First thing we're going to do is start a browser. Uh, I'm going to take you to the host that I use. It's uh, called DreamHost. So we'll go up and uh, enter our URL, dreamhost.com. And this is assuming that you've signed up with DreamHost for a hosting account. Um, all of their basic accounts have uh, one-click install of WordPress. Um, so the first thing we get to is uh, our welcome page. Um, and we're going to go into domains, first of all. And from domains, we're going to... Uh, Scroll down to the bottom. This is a list of all the different domains that uh, have registered over time. Some of them I do things with, some of them I don't. Um, speculative domain uh, registration. But at the bottom it says add new domain or subdomain. We're going to add a new subdomain. And what we're going to do is uh, call it uh, something like uh, newblog.flathatter.com. And leave all the default options everything's pretty that's all we have to do that's every, uh, everything's pretty much pre-filled for us fully host this domain and success it's registered um, it's going to take a few minutes for the system to kind of go through and set it up um, and then we should be good to go so if we take a look now, scroll down a little bit, we'll see that uh, there's there's no new blog listed under our flatheader.com area. Um, so we're going to go ahead and refresh by hitting manage domains and it takes a couple of seconds to refresh and now we see, okay, system's got it. There's a little um, clock next to the side of newblog.flathatter.com. tells us it's uh, it's working on getting that configured for us. Um, so uh, we're going to wait a few minutes and refresh again and see if it's done. And we've got uh, success there. Our clock's gone, so we know that uh, newblog.flathatter.com is ready for us to set up WordPress with our one-click install. So we go to goodies, one-click installs in our control panel, and that's going to bring up the uh, one-click install page uh, that DreamHost has. So there we go. Um, comes up and I've got a bunch of stuff that I've already installed that's the first thing you see upgrade uh, previously installed stuff but below that is what you would see first if this is your first time installing something here install new website software and lots of different goodies they've got there um, fantastico schmastico dreamhost now has its own one-click software installation and wordpress web blog is the very first one it's one of their most popular features so we click that um, they ask what URL do we want and um, of the various URLs we've got um, we see that uh, newblog.flathatter.com is an option up here so we'll go ahead and select that and scroll down some more and it says oh you need a data database excuse me for this and so we're going to choose database of the same name and that is pretty much it uh, for the Dreamweaver or Dream uh, Host side of things. Success! We have WordPress um, now installed. It's going to be about 10 minutes um, for all the database to be built out by the system and the scripts to get configured. So we're going to go ahead and hit New Tab, um, collapse time a little bit. We can do that through uh, the editing process. Um, and if we go to newblog.flathatter.com, say, oh, it doesn't look like you've installed WordPress yet. Try running install PHP. So we click on that, and it says first step. Click here. So we click on first step. It says, what do you want your title of your blog to be and your email? What's your email address for the blog in case uh, somebody needs to contact you about it? So we're going to call it new blog. Put in my email address, zug at flathatter.com. And then we're going to continue to the second step. From there, um, basically they install the, the tables. Um, they give you a username of admin, your password. We'll go ahead and copy that password from down below. And now we can log in. 
So we will copy that, click on the login page. It says, who are you? We want to say we're admin because that's the default account. We'll go ahead and put our password in. Hit login after we paste our password and success. We now have a WordPress blog, five minutes and 22 seconds in. That's how long it took uh, of our actual time. There's some time lag delays there. But we're going to click on users first of all and uh, change our password. Um, we go to update your password, put in your special password that you use to get into all your secure stuff. And go ahead and hit update, and the password is updated. So now we have a secure WordPress blog that has been set up. So there you have it, five minutes of our time, a little more in uh, elapsed time, but it's installed. So the next thing we're going to do is go to our presentation area. That's uh, the skin of what our blog looks like. Um, we can see that uh, we've got the default look and feel for our new blog. It's up, it's running, it's got the default hello world post. We're going to change that, something that's uh, not the default option. Go to Daydream 05, and with a couple of clicks, we've got a new skin. You can see how powerful and easy it is to use um, this WordPress technology to change the look and feel and configure your blog. So there's our new look and feel, new blog right there. Now we can write our first post, so we go click on the Write tab, and we'll go ahead and make a post real quick. I'll title it something like our first post. This is our first post to our new blog. It's such a nice blog, don't you think? If I were a post, I would be lucky to have such a home. Have you seen Brian Zug's blog? Uh, it's the best. And we'll go ahead and uh, put in a little link love, a little Google juice, highlight what we want to link to, hit the link icon, put in the web address, the link URL in this case, HTTP colon whack whack zug dot flat hatter dot com and away we go. First post is ready to publish so we go ahead and hit publish and as soon as we do that uh, we can see that our post was saved and we can go back to the page that we have open hit refresh and there's our first post and that's the short of it uh, from Installation to configuration to first post took all of eight minutes um, as far as actions on our part.